everybody Ann here sitting here out by the chicken yard having my coffee with all of you it's a beautiful sunny day today it's chilly it's cooling down you guys so hopefully today I'm gonna get that wood burning stove installed and maybe even fire it up I don't know but all I know is it's gonna be a good good off-grid day okay that was corny. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Remember this coffee plant? It's not only thriving, but it's multiplying. See? See those two little things with the little bean things on top? Those are two new coffee plants coming up. So this is great. I'm going to have to figure out a way to transplant it because I think it's ready. I watched on the internet some guy who... Well, took it out of the pot, separated the plants, and made separate plants from each of those and let them grow. So, yep, this coffee plant is doing absolutely great. I got new green babies coming up. Oh my gosh, look at the, the little chickens have figured out how to get up on top of the chicken cage. Oh my gosh, they're going to be flying out in no time. Oh no. Oh my gosh, this little chicken has a skink in its mouth. It's practically swallowed it whole. She's gonna run away from me. Don't chase her. She swallowed it? She swallowed it whole. A skink. Oh my gosh. These chickens. Must have came out of that wood pile right there. Yes, the there are a ton of skinks over in that wood pile. That is hilarious. You can go find yourself some more, girlfriend. <laughs> Just don't find yourself a snake. <laughs> Tis look at Miss Judy over there chilling out on her bed with her favorite toy right next to her. <laughs> Gotta love her. It looks like the girls have found the herbs. <laughs> Yep, they've been snacking away on the peppermint and the oregano and the basil and the chamomile, which is perfectly okay. They're almost past their prime anyhow, and the thyme. They love the thyme. And all of that stuff is pretty good for them, so have at it, girls. Just don't, don't eat my, don't, don't eat my lilies. Oh, they're getting up on the porch. They're coming to see what's going on on the porch. Oh, this is just so awesome having them roaming around. The other one is like way over there. I'm pretty sure that's Patsy. I don't know if you can even see her. She's over there by the, behind the van. She likes to be independent. But these girls have gone all over the place today. Oh, and see that piece of metal right there? I'm going to scrub it up and it's going behind the rock, uh, not the rocket stove, the wood burning stove. Enjoy your snacks, girls. Oh, they're, they're up in the blue bin now. <laughs> oh, look at they're going to go for the rosemary and the basil and the sage. That is so cool. Look at my poor arm, you guys. Poison ivy. I got it clearing some brush. It's been driving me crazy. I've just been putting that pink calamine lotion on it, and it does help it, and it's helped drying it out. It's just taken a long, long time to go away. Woke up last night, and my sleeves were down, but I was scratching it, so luckily the sleeve was down, so I didn't break open any of the little lesions, but oh my goodness. It's all up and down my arm. It hurts and it's swollen. <laughs> Life in the country. Listen to that squirrel. What's it doing? <laughs> that is just so weird. Hi, cute little squirrel. Don't come and bother my chicken. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. Okay, chickens. Move. Ah! Okay. One just roosted on my hand that was holding the camera. Cute. Anyhow, ow, ow, you guys, I'm trying to make a film here. <laughs> okay, I think we can do this now. All right, chicken. <laughs> See those little green sprouts? Well, when I made the chickens their little, um, you know, the treat that I make with all the 
like the chia seeds, flax seeds, sesame seed, oats and grains and all that wonderful stuff. Well, the stuff that they kick aside or don't eat, it is in the ground and it is sprouting. It is all over this chicken yard. See right here, there is a ton of it, a ton, ton, ton of it. And you know what, the chia seeds and the flax seeds, they tell you to sprout them in on top of like a terracotta clay dish or something. Well, my whole yard is a clay dish basically. So, you know, this is pretty cool. So whatever they don't eat, they start sprouting. And I was thinking of maybe trying to grow my own microgreens and buy a clay, you know, dish or whatever, but I'm not gonna have to. I can just dig up some clay put them down in there and look at it sprouting and the chickens will be able to eat them. I've seen them pecking away at some of these little patches. That is so cool. All right, well, we've been working on the wood stove, so let me show you the progress. It's cool. All right, it needs to be dusted, but it is installed. I just need to make a few adjustments. I need to do some weather stripping over here, some weather stripping over here, and um, I think I've got some uh, heat resistant tape that goes around the outside there. I may put, because there's just a very, very tiny gap, but that's in there and it's perfect. So let me show you the outside. Hey Cody, thanks for helping me. Anytime. <laughs> Hi Hannah, thanks for helping me too. You're welcome. All right, so this is the outside. Now this is going to look redneck to you. I don't care. You can just say whatever you want. Um, this is not how the outside is going to permanently look. Um, the reason being because it actually needs a couple, like a piece of wood at the top and maybe the bottom to kind of secure that board a little bit more. I have the wood. I just need to put it in. I just got tired. So I have just kind of sealed things with that. Um, it's reflective tape. It's, it's supposed to be heat resistant and whatnot. And it's, I mean, I put a cigarette lighter to it and you can, you can light it on fire. It takes a while. It takes a while of direct heat, but it does light on fire. So I'm not going to be using that anywhere where, you know, it might be likely to catch on fire. So, yep, it's up over the roof. It's secured, and it's tall enough, and everything fit. Well, actually, <laughs> I had to adjust that elbow pipe a little bit. Um, I ended up having to use one 3-inch pipe and one 4-inch elbow pipe because on the outside it fit a little bit different into the wall thimble and the three inches was too small. So we worked it out and see that wall thimble right there? Um, normally if you install it through the wall, which it will be installed eventually, that will be flush with the wood. Like up here, it'll be flush and so that'll look a little bit differently. I don't know if I'm gonna fire it up tonight, but it is installed, it just needs a couple more tweaks and then we're gonna be good. So I'm pretty happy with what we accomplished today. I don't think I'm going to fire it up tonight because I need to get that welder's blanket positioned properly before I do anything. So, But before any of you start worrying, okay, so we don't have a pipe going through plywood, okay? It is completely safe the way that it is right now. Keep in mind, and I'm going to repeat this again because a lot of people don't pay attention, but there's a double walled wall thimble that goes through the plywood. Inside of that is another double walled pipe. So there is a quadruple walled installation uh, going through that plywood. So it's not going to get too hot. And when I first start burning it, I'm going to be very mindful, very watchful. I'm going to be feeling things, touching things, making sure there's no smoke inside the house while well, the smoke detector will definitely go off. Um, and just see how it goes, you know, just be very careful at first. And I think it's going to work just fine. I've talked to many, many, many people who have installed these wood stove basically the same way that I have, except for they don't have the quadruple walls uh, pipes going through the plywood. They've just got a double walled pipe. Um, and they've never caught fire. They've, they've, you know, done just fine with it. People have put them in RVs. <laughs> I've seen them in vans. So um, it's, it's going to work out great. And I'll let you know how that goes. I'll let you know the first time when I fire it up and uh, maybe even, I don't know, maybe even live stream it. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Oh, looks like the little girls got the top roost tonight. Just look at them. I can't believe the leghorns are letting them stay up there. 
They're all up there. There the leghorns are. And the little girls are up on top. Pretty girls. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.